Hey everyone, this is Josh Carney. I'm a recording engineer, producer, musician, and songwriter, and welcome to this quick start course using Studio One 4 from Presonus. I'll walk you through setting up your audio and MIDI devices, recording and editing audio and MIDI, adding effects inserts and effects sends, using automation, and finally exporting your song. Studio One has some great arrangement and composition tools as well, like MIDI effects, the arranger track, and the scratch pad, all of which I'll cover in this course. The professional version of Studio One also comes with a license for Melodyne Essential, which is a plugin you can use to tune vocals. And it's not just an extra plugin, it's actually integrated into Studio One's interface, so I'll touch on that as well. So this course contains everything you need to know to start working and recording in Studio One quickly. And I'll explain things simple and straight to the point. So even if you're a brand new user, you can start making music quickly. Just note that Studio One is available for Mac and PC. In this course, I'll be using the Mac version. Visually, the Mac and PC versions are almost identical, but the Mac keyboard shortcuts vary from the PC shortcuts a bit. The main modifier keys for Studio One on a Mac are Command, Option, and Shift. On a PC, these are Control, Alt, and Shift. Command on a Mac is Control on a PC, and Option on a Mac is Alt on a PC. Shift stays the same on both. So for example, a Mac shortcut like Option P, which enables a play start marker, would be Alt P on a PC. Another example would be Option Command P to make the loop range follow the selection. This would be Alt Control P on a PC. Let's talk a bit about the installation process. You'll need to go to my.personas.com and create an account if you don't already have one. Then log in and register your purchase of Studio One. After it's registered, the product will show up down here. You can click on this and you'll be taken to a page where you can see your product key. Mine's blurred out for obvious reasons. And you can manage and transfer your licenses here as well. To download the installer, click here. Now the installation process will be different for each person, whether you use a Mac or a PC and whether you activate it online or offline. On a Mac, you simply double click the DMG installation file and then drag and drop Studio One into your applications folder. When you open it up for the first time, it'll prompt you to do a minimal, recommended, or full installation. I recommend the full installation as long as you have adequate space on your hard drive for this. And make sure you get that Melodyne Essential installed, because we'll be using it in this course. After installation, you'll be taken to the start page, where you can start your first song. This I'll cover in the next video.